Fred Savage is one of the youngest Emmy nominees ever, thanks to his starring role on The Wonder Years. But since that nostalgic dramedy signed off in 1993, he's had an inconsistent acting career. Let's find out why. Being a child star can be both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, actors who start early can make a fortune and establish themselves in Hollywood long before most of their colleagues get around to booking their first roles. But on the other hand, they can easily get pigeonholed, as casting directors and audiences alike forever associate them with the characters they played in their youth. And when they aren't kids anymore, it's difficult to make the jump to the world of grown-up roles. This phenomenon may very well have hurt Fred Savage. A lot of people remember him as Kevin Arnold on The Wonder Years or as the grandson in The Princess Bride. With that picture so firmly in mind, it can be hard to buy him as a leading man in any other context. There are some child stars who have aged successfully into more mature projects, but the struggle has been real for Savage. The 21st century has been a golden age for TV comedy. The proliferation of cable channels and streaming services has led to innovative and original takes on the once stale sitcom genre, and Savage has actually been at the forefront of a number of critically acclaimed cult hits, just not always in front of the camera. For example, he's produced more than 20 episodes of FX's long-running It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. His other producing credits include the short-lived cult classic Party Down and the I FC musical sitcom Garfunkel and Oates. In addition to producing, Savage is also a prolific TV director. He first tried his hand at the gig with an episode of the NBC sitcom Working, which he also starred in, and he also gave it a go with Boy Meets World, which starred his younger brother, Ben. He's worked consistently since then, racking up dozens of credits on a wide variety of shows, including the likes of That's So Raven, Modern Family, and Always Sunny. So while he may not be in demand as an actor as much anymore, He's still very much in showbiz. Plenty of actors who got their first taste of fame on a hit TV show have successfully transitioned to big screen stardom. Just to name a few examples, Jennifer Aniston busted out of Friends Central Perk, while Will Smith went from Fresh Prince of Bel Air to multiple Oscar nominee. And among child stars who have made it big, there's Growing Pains' Leonardo DiCaprio and Silver Spoon's Jason Bateman. Savage, however, wasn't able to replicate those success stories. He has appeared in a variety of movies over the years, but but none of them have launched him to headlining status. When he was a kid, Little Monsters and The Wizard got some decent attention from audiences. But since he's grown up, the likes of The Rules of Attraction and Welcome to Mooseport haven't exactly shot him into the stratosphere. His most memorable cinematic moment was probably in 2003's Austin Powers in Goldmember, in which he played number three, aka the guy with a gigantic mole on his face. Mole, 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 mole. In 2015, it looked like Savage was on the comeback trail, as he was starring alongside Rob Lowe on the Fox sitcom The Grinder. The show featured Lowe as an actor who played a lawyer on TV and then moved back to his Idaho hometown to practice real-life law with his uptight lawyer brother, as played by Savage. Despite critical acclaim, it was never a huge hit, and Fox canceled it after one season. Cancellation wasn't the only trouble that Savage went through on The Grinder. In 2018, Young Zhu Wang, a costumer who worked on the show sued him and the studio, alleging assault, battery, and harassment. She claimed that Savage created a, quote, extremely hostile work environment through intimidation and profanity toward female employees. She even claimed that he even struck her on occasion. Fox representatives publicly defended Savage and claimed that an investigation into the allegations failed to turn up any evidence of bad behavior on his part. That wasn't the only time that a crew member took issue with Savage's onset behavior. In 2018, Starr uncovered a lawsuit filed in 1993 by a Wonder Years costumer named Monique Long. She alleged that when she worked on the show in 1992, Savage, who was 16 at the time, tried to touch her inappropriately and begged her to sleep with him. Long ultimately accepted an out-of-court settlement, but Allie Mills, who played Savage's mom on The Wonder Years, later claimed that the reason Wonder Years was cancelled was because of that suit. 
In recent years, Fred Savage's acting career has shown new signs of life. In 2017, he joined the main cast of the Netflix sitcom Friends from College, where he starred alongside such comedy heavyweights as Keegan-Michael Key and Billy Eichner. The series was renewed for a second season, but that would ultimately be its last. Then, in 2018, Savage landed a major role in Once Upon a Deadpool, the PG-13 edit of the originally R-rated comedic superhero flick Deadpool 2. In an homage to The Princess Bride, he appeared in newly shot sequences in which Deadpool tells him about the events of the film. In the summer of 2019, Savage returned to regular TV series work with one of the most high-concept and original network shows in recent history. Called What Just Happened, it was a parody of discussion after shows like Talking Dead. It was built around a series called The Flare, which is a show that doesn't actually exist. With an increased interest in lower-key projects and a healthy sense of humor, Savage is busier than ever, so don't be surprised if you see him on a screen near you soon. You've been on in front sides. of the camera and you've been behind the camera. In which way are you treated better? Oh, for sure on camera. Yes! Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.